Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to make a hazelnut chocolate cake. So let's get started. First of all, you guys, as you can see here, I've got my Swiss buttercream recipe that I already have a video on my channel on how to make this. And I have here some Nutella mixed in with some ground up hazelnuts. So I'm just going to mix both of them together to use it as a filling for my cake. Okay, so that's it. Okay guys, now on to building the cake. First of all, I'm just gonna put some cream on my cake board here so the cake could adhere to it. And I add my first cake layer on the plate here. Just like that so it sticks and doesn't move around. And you all got used to my simple syrup way of soaking the cake, so I don't wanna soak this cake too much, but you obviously want to make it moist. So I'm just gonna use my simple syrup recipe that I already have a video on my channel on how to make this. And all this recipes that I'm using here, I already have videos on how to make them. For this chocolate cake as well, the best secret recipe of chocolate cake, I already have a video on that. So everything is going to be provided in the description box down below. Okay, so here I've got my chocolate buttercream that I'm just going to do a damn border on the side here to hold the icing in. The filling, I mean. Just like that. And here I've got my filling that I already made like a couple of minutes ago. I'm just going to fill this cake with. You don't want to fill this cake too much because it already has a lot of layers to it. So like that, so by using a spoon, it's okay. And now I'm adding the second cake layer on top. And soak it again. Just like that. Another border of the cream. Add another cake filling inside. I'm just gonna repeat that till I get to the top of the cake. Okay guys, so as you can see, I have finished filling this cake all to the top, and I also soaked all the layers. Now here I've got the Wilton 789 tip, it's the icer tip, that we're going to use to cover up the sides of the cake, and the tooth go on the cake so that the cream could adhere to it. I'm just going to start by putting some cream on the side, just like that, another layer on top. here as well. It's a quick icer tip so it ices your cakes super quickly and e efficiently. So now I'm just gonna start spreading. Okay guys so I just added some ex extra cream here. I'm just gonna start by the sides of this cake just by adhering it like that. Don't push hard just to make sure that the icing is stuck to the cake and on top as well. Just to start spreading some the sides and let it hang over the edge that's perfectly fine I'm just gonna start by spreading them on the sides too like that some extras where there's no rough icing like that and now start spreading the top to make it Okay guys, so now as you can see I have finished making the sides of the cake and the top as well and I freezed it for about 10 minutes so it can firm up just a little. And here in my pastry bag I've got an open star tip that I'm just going to do some rosettes on top of this cake. just like that and here I've got some melted up ganache that I already have a recipe on my channel on how to make it now I'm just gonna start pouring it on the cake okay I'm just gonna start pouring the ganache on the cake just like this I'm also gonna give it some help between each rosette so it can pour off the cake, just like that. Okay. 
Okay guys, and now after it started dripping on the sides, I'm just going to use some maraschino cherries on top of each rosette. Okay guys, now as you can see here, I've got some chocolate spikes that I'm just going to use as a decoration. They are so breakable, so you got to be very delicate with this. Okay, now using the same pastry bag, I'm just going to do a rosette on here. Just like this. And add these chocolate triangles as a decoration. like that okay another maraschino, maraschino terry on here and these decorations <laughs> 